billionaires of the future will be crypto investors. But, but anyway, that's what he was saying. But I copy your words to drive a point across because I disagree with her take when it comes to what she thinks men should value on and women. But I like that word value, value, because you know why? People in the investing world, that's something they need to understand. So many people do not focus on what is valuable when it comes in a stock or crypto market. They focus on price. They focus on the price. They don't focus on value. You can have a very valuable asset that is cheap. Why? Because people don't see the value in it today. It doesn't mean it will stay cheap in the future. Because if there is a value in it, if the value is increasing over time, sooner or later, price always follows value. And if you are an investor, you want to focus on what is valuable and you want to buy it when it's cheap. Right? You want to buy it when it's cheap. Let me show you something, guys. I mean, I don't want to brag, right? I'm just trying to drive the prong across. I'm going to, I was talking to that with the, on, on, on my Discord this morning and also uh, earlier today. So in my general Discord, guys, if, you, uh, if you're not there yet, the link is on the description, you can join in. So I was sharing a bunch of information that's on a general chat. And look at this. This is one of the investment I made this year. It uh, today, in one day, it blew up eight over eight thousand dollars. Okay. And why am I showing you this? Again, I'm not showing you this to brag. I'm showing you this to drive the prone across. What point am I driving across? Value, value. <laughs> Shout out to Tommy Lauren. <laughs> Doesn't make sense. Value, value. But basically what I'm trying to say is pay attention and value assets that are under value right now, but will acquire value over time. Focus more on the value aspect that an asset has to provide as opposed to the price of an asset. Now me, earlier this year in January, I put 2,500 on a cryptocurrency called CRO. Crypto.com. Why did I do that? Well, they were doing many things that was valuable. And based on their patterns, based on the research that I've done, I could tell this company is going to dominate the cryptocurrencies in the coming years. So at that time, I only had 2,500 that I wanted to invest available that I, that wasn't going anywhere. And then turns out that if you put 2500 in January, you, it would give you a credit card. Uh, and we talk about this credit card a lot. Thanks to this credit card, I get 3% cash back. Uh, it's, um, like it, it's not like a credit card you get a huge limit on. It's kind of like prepaid credit card. But 3% cash back, it also stake your money. So stake means I can lock my money and it pays me a dividend every week. So it pays me dividend, it pays me 10% for the entire year. So this is a crypto that I could easily put $10,000 on it. But at the time, I didn't have much liquidity available. I only had 2,500. I put it into this. I got the card and I love this card. I still love it. I made all my money back from the rewards uh, plus referral and all that. So I made more than 2,500 already from this card from cash back alone. And then, and then over time, in less than a year, it almost 10x. Almost 10x. And most of that happened in one day. One day. Why? Why did this happen? Because it was still a valuable asset in January. But most people were not seeing that. Most people were focusing on the price. They were trying to buy the next big thing that was pumping. They were not focusing on the value. Now, guess what? 
if I was continuing to buy CRO from January all the way to now, I would have probably made a hundred thousand in one in one in like in one crypto. I mean, I'm not. I mean, I I almost did that in many cryptos this year. All I'm saying is, but my long term portfolio and all the cryptos in my long term portfolio is focus designed for value appreciation, not price appreciation. So CRO is one of them. It's actually my lowest position in my entire long-term portfolio. Yet it's grew up to twenty thousand. Yeah, I put I I, I put only twenty five hundred on it. Sooner or later, guys, price always follows value. And focus on value, guys, because many investors do not do this, and that's why only ten percent of all investors makes money in the stock market. 90% people fail. Why? They focus on the price. The price triggers an emotion. They have FOMO, fear of missing out. They spread their money thin. They spread their money wide trying to catch one thing. If they do catch one thing, it gives them a pleasure. Emotion investing. Not logical investing. Sooner or later, you'll get it, guys. You'll get to your goal. But make sure the value is there. Do not focus on price. Price is only a reflection of the current perceived value. When I bought CRO, when I bought CRO, CRO was only eight cents Canadian, barely ten cents. I think, well, yeah, I think uh, I ended up buying it for ten cent Canadian, which was eight cents. Uh, I think it was seven and eight cents US. 10 cents Canadian when I bought it. So that when I bought 2,500, it gave me 25,000 um, CRO. But now, earlier today, CRO actually hit $1 Canadian. So that's a 10x. How many stocks do you know goes 10x in nine months? This is the eight cryptocurrency this year that I have that did a 10x. Why this year? Because for the last two years, I've been preparing for this year because I know the market cycle. And how do I know the market cycles? Because I'm a student of the past. I spent two years of studying the past cryptocurrencies, understand how to time the market. It's not an accident, guys. It's planned. Just be a student of the past. Understand the forces that can affect your wealth. And then focus on value, value, value. Shout out to her. So when I see people, don't want to keep beating on this guy, but I'm mad at this. When I see people investing in 63 cryptocurrencies, you're not focusing on value because most of these cryptocurrencies that you're going to get, 63, a lot of them will be cryptocurrencies that are just meme coins we call it shit coins pumping from marketing but no real value behind it if you focus all your attention on value over time you can't go wrong of course we may have a correction and see how it will go down but guess what the price will reflect the real value and when you have a deal where crypto.com is being announced as um they're going to change the sta staple center guys you're going to change the staple center to crypto.com. I don't know. I don't I don't think you guys understand what this is. Like I don't get, I don't think you guys understand how big of a deal this is. This company is willing to pay 700 billion no, 700 million dollars for 20 years to put to lease themselves here. CNN Business talked about it. Crypto.com by Stable Center naming rights. It's not listed here, but it, it, it bought it for seven hundred million dollars. Guys, the future million, uh, the future billionaires of the uh, the the billionaires of the future will be crypto investors. If you enjoyed this little short segment that we did, here's where you can click to find another short segment 
or you can click right here to find the entire podcast. Take care, everybody. We'll see you on the next one.